are going to discuss about the conic section, specifically about ellipses. Before we go deeper on discussing more of ellipses, let us first know what is an ellipse. An ellipse is a regular oval shape traced by a point moving in a plane so that the sum of its distances from two points called foci are constant. Before we get started, let me clarify to you that what we are going to discuss right now is an ellipse that has a center located at the origin. Let us consider these graphs right here. There are two types of ellipse, one that lies along the horizontal axis and one that lies along the vertical axis. In an ellipse, there are a couple of parts that we need to know. The major and the minor axis. Let us label them. Now remember that in the major axis lies your vertices, your foci, and the center of your ellipse. Now let's go on to the vertices. The vertices are at the endpoints of your major axis. We also have our foci. We also have our extremities that lies along the minor axis. The distance from the center to the vertices is denoted with A. And the distance from the center to the foci is denoted with C. And the distance from the center to any of the extremities is denoted with B. The distance from the center to the vertices is denoted with A. Then the major axis will have the length of... 2a and the minor axis will have the length of 2b so for this case we have the formula x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1 and these are the properties that you need to consider when you have this equation and for this case we have the formula x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. And these are the properties that you need to consider when you have this equation. Now, what I want you to remember is that a is longer than b. Now, what I want you to remember is that a is longer than b. So, if your a is under your x, then that means that your ellipse is elongated at the horizontal axis. While on the other hand, when your A is under your Y, then that implies that your ellipse is elongated at the vertical axis. Consider this example. X squared over 16 plus Y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Could that be elongated horizontally or vertically? Yes! Yes! It would be elongated horizontally since our larger number, which is 16, is under our x. And that means our ellipse would be elongated horizontally. Consider this example. Given properties of an ellipse, find the equation. So we are given with the center, which is located at the origin, the focus 0 and 5, length of the major axis, which is 13 units. Now remember that this is an example of case 2 and the focus there have 0, positive, negative C. That means the length or the measurement of our C is positive, negative 5. As you can remember, 
the length of the major axis is the length of 2a. So in finding the length or the measurement of our a, we have to use the formula positive negative length of major axis all over 2. We have the length of our major axis which is 13 units. So we have 13 over 2. And that is the length of our A. In solving for our B, we have the formula B squared is equal to A squared minus C squared. Now, what we, have, what we need to do is to plug in the values. We have the length of our A, which is 13 over 2 squared minus the length of our C, which is 5. Squared. 13 over 2 squared is equal to 169 over 4 minus the square of 5 which is 25. Now what we need to do is to get the LCD and here the LCD is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Multiply it to 169 we have 169. 4 divided by 1 is 4. Multiply it with 25, you will get 100. 169 minus 100 is equals to 69 over 4. Now we need to get the square root of both sides. So take a square root. We will get b is equal to positive negative square root of 69 over 2. Now that we have the length of our A and our B, we can now formulate our equation of our ellipse. Remember that this is an example of case 2. So our A would be under our Y. So we have X squared over our B squared. So our B squared has a length of 69 over 4 plus y squared over a squared, which is the square of our a, 13 over 2 is 169 over 4 is equal to 1. And that is your equation for this problem. So that's it everyone. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye! Yay!